What's up everyone? It's your girl Shay here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. And as you can see by how today's video, I am talking about different ways of how you can support the anime industry. And the reason why I decided to come up with this video topic, or the reason why I decided to expand upon this topic, is basically because of the fact that with my previous video, I did talk about Crunchyroll and how they were getting rid of ad-supported streaming, which pretty much was where you basically use the service for free, but just had to watch ads while you were watching anime. And any new shows that were currently airing, you would have to wait a week before being able to actually stream it so they're getting rid of that part of the service of where basically if a show is just or still currently streaming or and or airing you can't watch the latest episode unless you have a subscription but if a show is already finished airing and is completed then you can basically go on and stream to your heart's content with the ad supported streaming service where you're not paying for a subscription so with this video topic and with me talking about it i got an interesting comment where a person actually said i mean i think we just need better ways to support the industry which actually made me think if there were actually other ways of where you can support the industry so i did comment back to this person and i had said pretty much that i feel like you know as far as like if you want to support the industry more which there are better ways to support the industry is that i feel like if it was a smaller like studio then i feel like that was possible but if you're like talking about a u.s studio or a bigger japanese studio it'd be a little bit more difficult to do the support the way that this person was basically saying of like how you they could put out a poll that basically says like what shows we want to have a second season on or basically doing like a fund of where you give money out and stuff like that for some of your favorite shows and return you get something of like a keychain or something to show that you are supporting this particular like series or this particular studio so i decided to do some research or to look online and i basically literally only googled how can you support the anime industry and it took me to an article by cbr that was made in august of 2020 and this is basically where they listed different ways of how you can support the anime industry and i will list some of the ways that they have on here as well as give my thoughts about it and it also gives a good insight into actually how streaming services like Crunchyroll actually do help the anime industry because there seems to be this I don't know weird consensus or this weird thing of a lot of people basically saying that streaming services like Crunchyroll don't actually help the anime industry and that there are other ways of where you can support it which to me I always thought was very much incorrect because of the simple fact that if streaming services didn't help the anime industry, then why would streaming services exist for anime if the anime companies thought that they didn't really help them at all? And to me, this was just a way that I feel like anime fans try to justify pirating because they're like, oh, well, streaming doesn't help anyway, and I help in other ways by X, Y, and Z. So here are the ways though, according to CBR.com, that you can help support the anime industry. And this is mostly for those that are unable to use Crunchyroll or they can't pay for it themselves, but they're like using a friend's account or they don't use Crunchyroll, but they use like Netflix or Hulu or something else of that sort. So one of the ways they have is donating to nonprofit organizations. And they do have on here that because of the fact that, you know, for animators in the anime industry, it's a very hard career path to actually have. So there is actually in Japan, there appears to be a nonprofit called the Japanese Animation Creative Association or the J J. Annika as a nonprofit organization that intends to improve the living conditions for all workers who basically make anime. So there is that. That's the one nonprofit. And then the other one is AEYAC, which is another nonprofit organization that assists new animators with training and job hunting um, their skills. So that is another one. And then for international fans, they say that we might actually be more. Um, like more familiar with the animator supporters dormitory project and it says this program funds housing for up and coming animators so that they can receive training from experts and not only have to worry about making ends meet they also according to this one um, they also post updates on youtube so if you're someone who really wants to know like where your funds are going and you want to see these kind of updates they have a youtube channel so supporters can follow along their journey and so on and so forth so there's that's one there and it said donating and commissioning to artists. So pretty much this is where like you're basically asking for an anime creator to basically commission for you like a piece of artwork. 
there you go that's one of its too because a lot of them actually have patreons or some of them have patreons at least and this is where um, pretty much though you have to know that the money though is split though between the streaming equipment and artists who participate like in their twitch and stuff like that so that's another one Another one they have on here is attending live events. So they specifically mostly only talk about Comic Head that is in Japan and pretty much how that definitely helps with a lot of artists in the anime industry because you're going there, you're buying their work and so on and so forth. Another one they have is crowdfunding anime projects. And this was one that I had actually discussed with the person that commented on my YouTube video where I said that pretty much I feel like that would be better for like a, like crowdfunding projects or smaller projects and stuff like that. And so this is one where I agree with. So most anime studios aren't able to brunt the cost of producing anime by themselves, hence they rely on production communities to split the risk of creating an anime. Because creating an anime does take a lot of risk involved because you have to hope that you get enough money back from what you basically made based off of the revenue that you make from like people buying the product and so on and so forth. So yes, so you can try crowdfunding. That's another one as well. Another one is watching anime in theaters. And I feel like this is also a big one currently at this point in time because there's a lot of anime movies that are coming out in theaters and so many people are going out to watch them. And I feel like this is one where I feel like we are greatly helping the anime industry as a whole because a lot of people went out and saw Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, a lot of people went out and saw the Demon Slayer movie, Dragon Ball Z movie when that came out and so on and so forth. So honestly, I feel like this is a great way, especially for those of you who aren't able to use a streaming service like Crunchyroll but are able to use like Netflix or Hulu, this is another way that you can support the anime industry. Next one they have is buying merchandise and I feel like this is the biggest one that I see among anime fans that pirate is that they're like well I buy merchandise. So yes merchandise is as it says here one of the most common ways anime fans support the industry because they're buying merchandise from their favorite series whether it's a keychain or a t-shirt or something something of the sort that shows that you enjoy a particular uh, like show basically but I will say please be careful of where you are actually buying your merchandise because sometimes you will buy merchandise from an illegal site not realize that it is illegal or that it's fake or that it's not real so be very careful where you buy your stuff from I recommend buying stuff from like right stuff or strictly through like that particular like studio if they have a site where you can buy stuff from or like even through like Crunchyroll or Funimation that they have their own stores for shows that they have licensed and then you can actually buy like like merchandise and stuff from there so I highly recommend that if you go to like an anime convention it can be hit or miss some stuff there is legit but some stuff there is fake so be very very careful also because that money is going back into that person's pocket you really don't know where that money is going so be very very careful and last but not least the one they have on here is streaming on legal sites and by legal sites I mean like Crunchyroll Netflix Hulu, um, HBO Max, because I know they had a partnership with Crunchyroll. Those are the sites that I mean, legal sites. So none of these like illegal sites that people are like, I'm gonna go here because they have every single anime that's ever been made. No, go to the legal sites. And they explain on here, apparently in 2013, they did an interview with the former CEO of Crunchyroll, who basically talks about how your subscription money is actually split. So how it is split is that it's split based on the shows that you watch. And so an example they give here in the article is that let's say you spend 25% of your time watching Naruto and the other 75% you watch Dragon Ball Z. So basically what happens is your money is split going 25% to the Naruto publisher and 75% to the Dragon Ball Z publisher. And that is how they get their money when you do a subscription service. So therefore, as you can see, subscription services do help the anime industry. So I definitely recommend that if you really enjoy anime, if you are a fan of anime, just get the subscription. And if you, like I said before my previous video, if you yourself cannot afford the subscription, there are other ways as well. Like borrowing or having the same subscription as your friend, using their login, you and your friends pulling your money together and you even shelling out a couple of bucks a month for them to help them pay for the service. You also, of course, can, I know with Crunchyroll they used to do like the free passes and you can like get free passes from your friend. You can use that. You can also ask like your family members if you're someone of a younger crowd or can't afford it if you're not working. See if they will give you gift cards for Crunchyroll specifically. And that's another way that you can use the service as well. 
So there are a lot of different ways that you can use like all these legal like streaming sites as well. So for anyone who's like, I want to support the anime industry in other ways, here are the other ways. I will also link the article down below so everyone else can read it. And for those of you guys who are still like, well, I still don't want to use Crunchyroll. I don't like using the service or I hate using the service. I'm still going to go and go to these illegal sites. Let me put it this way into our perspective. Let's say that you are a mangaka let's say you are a anime creator and let's say that you decide to like let's say that your biggest dream is that your manga becomes an anime so you find a studio that is very much invested in your manga and they want to make an anime out of it and you're very proud of it they make the anime for you and they put it out online they stream it for you they make dvds of it and then you find out that people are putting it on an illegal site. You would feel terrible. You would be mad. You would be upset because yes, people are consuming your product and people are watching your product, but they're not actually, you know, I guess, how can I put it? They're not contributing to it. They're not like, they're, you're not getting any revenue from it. So you're going to be very upset about it. And yes, you see people are enjoying it but that's pretty much about it, but you're not seeing anything from it. And what this can cause, because a lot of people are like, well, if there's a way for me to know that my show that I watch is being a second season and so on and so forth, well, I'm sure anime companies look and see what shows are trending or streaming the best on sites like Crunchyroll. And usually that will determine if a show is extremely popular, that will determine if it gets a second season. Not always, but sometimes. An example that I can give that I give many times before is with the anime D. Gray Man. And I know at this point they did a new anime for D. Gray Man, but before they actually did that, D. Gray Man, D. D. Gray Man didn't get a second season. And the main reason why this is by the people that did the dub, they were like, basically what happened was because a lot of people pirated the show. So they never saw a benefit or any sort of revenue from them doing D. Gray Man. So they decided, why are we giving this show a second season when it seems that fans don't like it and fans that were actually at an anime convention actually talked to i believe it was travis willingham he did a panel and he had told them he was just like i hear a lot of people really like the show but if you like the show please buy it because at the time this one streaming wasn't as big as it is now and a lot of times it was based off of dvd sales so he was like please buy the show because a lot of people aren't buying it so they're not seeing that the show is popular so we might not do anymore and that's the truth which is why i say please stream from legal sites and that's why a lot of your shows sometimes don't get second seasons because the companies think the show's not popular that it's not doing well when in reality it has a huge fan base but they don't know that because where you're going to stream it they don't actually account for that because it's not legal and they put it up there illegally so therefore they're not looking at that whatsoever so yeah definitely make sure you're helping the industry as much as you can in the best ways that you can and yes as someone like myself i also did used to pirate anime i used to go to all the legal streaming sites but i will say that once i had a revenue coming in from my job and stuff like that i then got all the streaming services and I would also buy DVDs at the time when I was pirating because there were shows that I definitely really loved and I really wanted. So I bought a lot of those DVDs to help in some way to support. So please try and support the anime industry the best way that you can. And stop like getting mad at these like bigger corporations for like streaming anime and thinking like, oh, I'm just gonna pirate it because I don't wanna support them or such and such like that and things, and things of that nature. But yeah, that's basically the video that I wanted to make for you guys because I do want people to support the anime industry the best way that they can because I don't want to see the anime industry like go through a dark path that I know at one point that it did go down and I really want people to like basically stream anime legally and to understand kind of like the implications of what happens when you don't you know stream anime legally and what that what that can do to some of your favorite shows so yeah, I hope you guys found this video informative in some ways. I hope you guys read the article that I put down below, which is from CBR, which a lot of times sometimes I make fun of CBR artic articles, but I thought this article was actually pretty informative. So definitely be sure to read it and check it out. And of course, let me know your thoughts about this topic. And I do want to do a topic about the whole like pay 
and wages that voice actors are actually getting within the dubbing industry specifically for anime voice acting and i do want to talk about that because uh, i do think they need to be paid a higher wage but that like i said it's a whole nother topic but yeah that's the video i have for you guys um i hope you guys enjoyed this video links down below to all my social media accounts my instagram my twitter and my tiktok so please um, subscribe or follow me there if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and of course please subscribe as well if you haven't already and um, like I always tell you guys stay positive stay nerdy and stay zenage stay healthy and of course please stay safe all right you guys bye